is up guys phoenix here and mudkip look at mudkip in the background look at the little cutie patootie and we're today we're going to be doing the subscriber showcase like i promised you guys so a while back i asked you guys to send me in pixel arts that you guys finished and i said it might get showcased on my channel well guess what today i will be showcasing them so first let's kick this thing off correctly with a big build by actually no, i think this was the first one sent in actually um, by Aqua L Gamer, and it's actually a Pikachu, as you can see, running on all fours. It's a medium-sized pixel art that looks really, really well done. And on the left there, you can see a little flappy bird, and on the right, you see a Mario Mushroom. Well done there, Aqua L Gamer. And um, Aqua L Gamer wanted to tell everybody that he has a YouTube channel, so hopefully he's down in the comment section below, and you guys can check out Aqua Gamer and tell him how he did. Um, if any of you guys who um, are to showcase your pixel arts, just make sure you guys um, go into the uh, description below. I mean, not the description, the comment section below, and just um, say hello so that way people can find you. Next up, we have Archie, who has a YouTube as well, and he said that he wants you guys to check him out, and he made a Mega Gengar from the what you might call it pokemon 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 get it right get it right from the pokemon series and as you can see the mega gengar is like a really big build he has a lot of shading done on the arms and stuff like that and it looks really well done and on top of that he sent it in on a night time just so it can get that little extra spook factor which is amazing thank you for sending it in archie and it looks really really well done Next up, we have a panda, which is a homemade pixel art. I've never done this tutorial from Big Fat Panda Games. So thank you, Big Fat Panda, for sending this in. A little cute little panda, but the eyes freak me out, mate. The eyes just creep. They look into your soul. They just look into your soul. <laughs> but thank you for sending in the pixel art, Big Fat Panda. Hopefully, um, I get a big pixel art from you next time. I want a big one. A big, big, big pixel art. Next up, we have Christopher, who sent in this Steve on a horse with diamond armor pixel art. And there's some pixel arts in the background, which I can't make out yet. But you can see that I think that's a Charizard in the top left in the shadows. And I can't see it that well. And then there's like an egg in the bottom left. But the big focus here is the Steve and the horse, which you can see has like many different types of blocks. It's not wool. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's not wool because it's like really textured from far. And Steve's ready to swing that diamond sword down on some creeper heads or some skeleton heads or just some zombies, you know, smashing some zombie brains. <laughs> I'm gonna stop moving the camera on too much. It might hurt somebody's eyes. And I don't want to do that. <laughs> so thank you, Christopher, for sending in this pixel art. After that, we have Daniel McKell, who who sent me in the ray gun from the Call of Duty game. So you guys thought I was only into Minecraft. I know about Call of Duty. So this ray gun from Call of Duty, um, it looks really, really well done. And don't worry, guys, if you guys um, send in tutorial pixel arts, I don't really care. As long as you've completed the tutorial on your own, it's your pixel art, okay? So... Thank you for sending it in, Daniel. It looks really well done. You can see in the back there how it has, like, the spines for when it's charging up and stuff. And then it has a little nozzle there. And I believe this was made on the Xbox 360, which is my favorite console to build pixel arts on. So thank you, Daniel McKell, for sending this one in. And hopefully I get to see more of you guys as pixel arts. Next up is a personal favorite of mine, Derp Fart, <laughs> made a pixel art of Pearl, which as you guys know, I did a tutorial on, and he wanted to show it off saying that he was a big Steven Universe fan, and um, it says, for my crush, heart. So um, I, I guess um, he has a little crush on somebody. I don't know who that is. He, 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 he. <laughs> and uh, you can see pieces of the Steven in the right side. But the main fo focus he wanted to send in was the Pearl, which he captured perfectly in his build. And I see a little village there. You might want to tear that down, tear down some houses. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> So yeah, hopefully when I finish the Amethyst and Garnet, he has a full collection and I'll be able to see more from Derp Fart. Next up, we have Darren Noble, who sends in a bunch of Pokemon pixel arts, and they all look very, very good. Except, you know, the Lugia is a little bit bigger. He's a little scary, you know, big, big, scary Lugia. Uh, the the Cyndaquil looks really good. Scizor looks really good. Charmeleon, but the Lugia is my favorite just because it's so big and detailed. So congrats, Darren Noble, on that big Lugia pixel art. I bet it took like an hour or two. I, I would like to know how long that took because that looks really, really good. Um... The, the Charmeleon one, I think it's like half of Lugia size, so you can tell how big Lugia is and how much detail it took, and you see the little gray shading on the neck, the difference in the eyes, he has light blue, dark blue, so the shading makes all the difference when you have pixel art, let me just set the time today, there we go, so just so you guys know, the shading makes a big difference. 
Next up, we have Jordan Fagan, who sent in Michael Jackson. And Jordan Fagan wanted me to tell him what I think of his pixel art. I think it looks amazing, Jordan. You can see that it's not really all black and white with the skin colors, but like the contrast between the yellows and the reds and the oranges and stuff like that give it the Michael Jackson look, which is really good in a pixel art. And it's like in portrait mode as well, so it's really, really tall. Um, there's some blocks at the top there that I can't tell what they are. Maybe they're just like something to use to border it. But he has a blue background, the black for the hair. It looks really well. Good job, Jordan. Thank you for sending it in. Coming up next, we have... What is this? Oh, oh, it's another panda. <laughs> Sorry. It took a while to load the image for, on my screen. I'm, I'm like, as you guys see, you guys probably see it faster than I am because I'm editing it in, but it didn't load for me on my computer. Um, this is a panda, a big fat panda by Just Call Me Barrage, who also has a YouTube channel. And Just Call Me Barrage, good job on the panda. Um, you can't see any more pixel arts in the view, which is really weird because usually pixel art maps, you have like all these pixel arts everywhere. So he probably has it really organized. So that's a good job, Barrage. Unlike my maps, my maps are a mess look you have pixel art over there 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 i think that's pearl in the background there's an unfinished pixel art there shame and then we got mudkip right there and then i'm holding wool i don't know why i'm holding oh no this is clay so yeah just call me barrage good job on the panda um as you can see it's like the, it's really big because it has like shadow going on it from the sun so that's an insane amount of wool probably took like as much as the mudkip probably like mudkip took thousands of wool Next, we have Kobe Thompson, which, we, as I was talking about just a second ago, you see all those pixel arts everywhere and 3D statues. That's a crazy amount. And look in the bottom left, you guys can see the touchpad for, um, what you gonna call it, Minecraft Pocket Edition, which means all of this art was built in the Pocket Edition. And I, I frankly hate the Pocket Edition because my fa my fingers are too fat. So Jordan, I mean Kobe, sorry, Kobe Thompson, thank you for sending this in. That's amazing. I can't even do this. So he has the two Valentine's Day couple kisses. And Spongebob, then you can see, um, what is that, a golden sword in the bottom left. Let's see if we can make out everything. I think that's a Rubik's Cube underneath the um, compass. Um, let's see, that's Ezio from Assassin's Creed in the bottom right. So there's just so much going on in this picture, and it's amazing. And this is what a pixel art map is. Like, this pixel art is just pixel art everywhere. and just craziness, and it's just awesomeness at the same time, because you can be as creative as you want. So thank you, Kobe, for sending this in. That's amazing. <laughs> Next up is another one from my build. It's called, um, what's it called? The marionette. Sorry. I forgot already. I was about to call him the night marionette, but then I forgot. That's the one I'm building right now. It's not the one that I made a tutorial for. So let me just set time today again. And this one comes from Logan Collins. So thank you, Logan, for sending in. As you can see, he has the tears from the night marionette, and he also has the neck done. Most people I know only did the face because the neck was a little bit hard to do, even though it's just a black line. And he captured the shape perfectly. Um, the might marry the might the 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 marionette was symmetrical, so it's very easy for him to make sure he doesn't make any mistakes. Even though some people did, and it came out perfectly. He has the lipsticks done, the red cheeks, and then he has the creepy eyes and the creepy mouth just done completely. So hopefully, when I do the night marionette tutorial, he tunes in and he can have that added to his collection as well. Next, we have Sans from Undertale, which was made by Lazar's Fabric, which, as you know, Lazar is the creator of most of the 3D statues for the Five Nights at Freddy's Minecraft builds. So if you guys have any of the 3D Five Nights at Freddy's statues on your maps, those are probably made by Lazar. And he, look at this Sans. This looks amazing. So it's like really good detail. He sent me in during one of my streams, which you, if you haven't tuned into the streams, you should check it out. You meet a lot of people there. And look at that. You got the blue jacket. And I've only played Undertale in a little bit, and I don't think... I I've seen the colors yet so maybe later on in the game the colors come in but he has the gray shorts and then you have like the little line in them which is more of the shading stuff and i think he's wearing slippers which means he's just really lazy because slippers are for lazy people he has the blue eye and it just looks really well done which i don't expect nothing less from lazar so thanks for sending it in lazar it looks really really freaking amazing and hopefully i can do some undertale pixel arts once i complete the game i don't want to ruin it for myself though yet Next up, we have Chelsea from Akame Got Kill, which is made by Sarah Moran, which is one of my biggest fans. Who She asks me for these builds a lot of the time because she knows that like I can't finish them all as fast as she wants to build them. So she asks me for builds, and I help her get them out there. She has a lot of the Akame Got Kill squad done. So if you guys are Akame Got Kill fans, she has a lot of them done. You guys can check her out. Sarah Moran does a really good job with them. She has Chelsea. I think she has Lubbock. She has an agenda, which if you don't watch anime, you don't know what the heck I'm talking about but it's okay because some people do <laughs> so thank you for sending that in sarah i'm glad to see you progressing and your pixel arts coming out well the chelsea looks freaking amazing 
So hopefully you guys like the showcase. If you guys want to have yours um, pixel arts in the next showcase, be sure to send them in to me on Twitter, or if you can find a way to send me on um, Crafters Amino, but Twitter is most likely the best way to do it. I currently don't have my Instagram set up, so that's not a good way to send it yet. And yeah, hopefully I can see more of you guys' works and we can have another showcase like this in the future. So let me know what you guys thought of the showcase. Hopefully it was to your liking. This is Phoenix, and as always, I'll see you guys later. Bye.